Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, welcome to a whole new year. Welcome back to the channel, making the first video here of 2025, which is super exciting, super pumped to get this year going and talk to you guys uh, here down in my basement about all the 3D printing things. Uh, this is more of a short uh, video, so uh, it's going to be about Elegoo and their new resin printer that's coming out. So let's talk about it. Alright guys, so just like I just mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're going to be talking about Elegoo's new resin 3D printer that they, well, not new, right? It's not technically new, it's just a much more beefed up version of, of this guy, the Saturn IV Ultra. It's going to be 16K, it's going to have a heated vat, it's going to have a new AI camera, and it's going to have a light on the inside. So it sounds like they listened to us, uh, anybody and everybody who talked about how those things should have been on this machine. Oh, and there's handles on the top of the vat uh, to make it easier to pull in and out, which is, you know, wild. Uh, but they did listen. Uh, they still didn't fix this This here. It's still the same exact build plate. Um, but I figured I'd take these prints off of the build plate while I talk to you guys about it, and we'll just have a quick little discussion about it. This isn't scripted or anything like that, so it's just going to be off the top of my head, and uh, just, just go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, as you know, safety first. So make sure you got your gloves on. Make sure you got an apron or something to cover yourself a little bit. Uh, make sure to have some like a hat or something just to keep things from flying into your hair uh, and uh, a mask. I'm, I'm not going to wear one right now just because it's going to be a little bit difficult to talk to you guys if it's all being kind of muffled. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to wing it. I am going to put on some goggles once it comes time to take off the supports. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to we're just going to talk about it and uh as I take everything out. Uh, so I might have my back to you here uh, periodically just because there's not a whole lot of room down here, uh, but the camera angle will change the best to be able to see what it is that I'm doing. Right now I'm just gonna take this off, so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think about this new, new not new 3D printer that's coming out? Um, let me know down below in the comments. Ooh, that's, a, that's really noisy. I apologize. I should have cleaned this up before I uh, started filming. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think uh, about this whole thing. I think that maybe Elegoo should have held off on the release of this machine uh, and waited until they had all of these things kind of like down packed, right? The, the heated vat, uh, definitely the... I mean... Let's let's be fair. It doesn't really bother me that this this doesn't have a grippy is because it's not super slippery for me while I'm wearing my gloves. Uh, obviously, once they get full of resin from touching the prints, then it does slip a lot. But I don't know. I, I feel like they they should have waited on a lot of these upgrades for another generation machine or release them all with this machine instead of kind of releasing like that mid that mid season. Uh, printer before they release a new one towards the end of this year again and then you, you're just kind of doing what uh what what consoles do at this point right so they release the main console a ps4 or a ps5 and then eventually sometime down the line you get a ps5 pro uh right before they decide that they're going to then tell you about this whole new console they're going to release in either the next year in the next couple of years i know it's not the same consoles generally wait a lot longer but it's the same idea of Hey, here's the machine. Here's new, improved, everything. And then, you know, a couple of months go by and then they're like, hey, here's a new machine that's the same machine that you guys bought, but it has a better screen, it has a heated vat, it has a new and improved AI camera, it has a light on the inside, so you guys can see those prints that you guys have been saying are look really dark. Uh, it's gonna have handles on the vat, and it's gonna be this brand new machine, it's gonna be great, everybody's gonna love it, and everybody like me, who's sitting here, who actually spent money on this thing, are like, all right, cool. Uh, do we get to upgrade our 14, our, I mean, our Saturn IV Ultras to the newer models by just, you know, swapping out some parts? Are those parts going to be, you know, given to us at a discount? I'm going to take the parts off now. Uh, but yeah, are we going to get like some sort of upgrade kits? 
Uh, is it going to be easy to do? Or are we going to have to essentially just, you know, take the whole machine apart, which is probably what we're going to have to do to replace everything. Uh, are we going to need to download new firmware? Is, that, is this even something that we can do uh, on our own? Stuff like that, right? So it's, it's cool, right? I think it's really cool and I'm super excited for it to come out and I'm going to do my best to try to get one in here and, and open, open it for you guys and then compare the two, the two models. Um, but again, I, I'm sponsored by myself, so, <laughs> uh, that's going to be, it might be a little bit before I can get that machine down here so you guys can, can, uh, see it with me and, and we can talk about it together. Make sure y'all clean y'all's build plates. Build plates be dirty. Um, and I, I'm over here spending money on like this new Elegoo wash and cure station for you guys and the heater that I just bought literally like, what was it, a couple of weeks ago. So I've come to find out that I could have just saved my money on those things and bought in a new printer, Hope maybe. I mean, it's obviously gonna be a lot more expensive uh, than just, you know, that cost there uh, that I spent on the heater and the wash and cure station. But it could have, I could have saved some money. But yeah, man, I mean, it's cool. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm hating on it and that I'm mad about it because I, I'm, I'm, I am a little bit of all of that. But what I'm I'm just saying it's cool, but it would have been cool had they just held off on releasing the Center for Ultra and, until they had that done for it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because now uh, everybody, is, everybody who has a Center for Ultra is going to feel a little cheated that it's the same machine, but it's upgraded. It's better. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's not a good look. It's a very Apple move of them to, to do this type of thing. Uh, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm enjoying this thing. Uh, the fact that it's much larger and I can fit much larger prints like this. Uh, I'm printing out a, a Master Chief, uh, Statues. This model is by Galactic Armory, by the way. It's a statue that's supposed to be fi about 15 inches tall. Um, so I'm printing it off in parts, as well as uh, a couple of my Etsy orders. Um, but yeah, man. No, I mean, I mean, I am, I am looking forward to it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, although, if you watch any of Faux Hammer's videos, you know that 14, 12, 14, and 16K machines are kind of not really that. Uh, just because the resolution is only that on one, going one one direction of the screen, not going the other way, which you know makes sense. And it is, it is definitely that is definitely a marketing scheme. The whole auto bed leveling, it's not really auto bed leveling. Um, it is more like just regular auto z zeroing. Yeah, let's get these in here real quick. Just give me two seconds. Take some time to get all the water in these hollowed out models. So I apologize if I just took too long, but I'll just speed this up. So yeah, I mean, again, tell me down below what you guys think. Uh, I'm I'm not super upset about it. I'm just a little, you know, upset about it. <laughs> I spent all my money on this machine in here and on the new wash and cure station. And let's get this going because if I don't. Uh, if I don't, then it's never going to get clean. But yeah, so tell me down below what you think. Uh, are you going to get the new uh, the mission? The new mission. Let me it picks it up pretty well. Let me move away from it a little bit. But yeah, so are you guys going to get the new machine? Are you going to hopefully hope and pray like I am that there is some sort of an upgrade kit for the Saturn IV Ultra that is out now? Uh, you know, getting that new screen at hopefully a discount from Elegoo, uh, considering that everybody bought their machine and literally it was we were all one giant beta test, and now they're like, hey. <laughs> Remember all those things you guys talked about? We're going to release them now on a new machine, and uh, hopefully they don't throw us the middle finger by saying, uh, you, you can upgrade it, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. You might switch to buy a new machine. I don't think they will. They don't seem like that type of company. They seem like a company who generally, genuinely cares about the opinion and the satisfaction of their customer base based on the machines that I've, I have owned. So I, I'm hopeful that there will be some sort of upgrade kit, 
um, for this machine, but I, I honestly don't know if they'll do that. Um, and I'm probably going to try to get one here just so we can see the differences between the two to see if there's any difference in print quality to see if, you know, that, that uh, 14K resin that I have over there makes a difference now on a, on a higher resolution screen. It might not. Um, but, you know, hopefully I can get that in here and, uh, and we can all look at it. So um, if you're interested in, you know, supporting the channel in any way that you can, I have affiliate links for... For everything actually now i have affiliate links for elegu uh, printers i have affiliate links they'll, they'll all be down below any link that i put down there unless they're amazon links are all affiliate links so uh uh elegu uh anacubic um i think that's it actually uh, <laughs> but that's mainly the stuff that i've been using that i use anacubic resin and i use an elegu printer and elegu wash and cure station but those are going to be down below um, and then I'll throw some other links down there for like Paramount 3D. I also have an affiliate link through them. And we can get that down there and you guys can support the channel. Everything that I get from any of those sources is going to become just stuff for me to buy for down here or new machines for me to test and things like that. I also do have a Patreon. Um, it's free to join, but there are tiers in it if you would like to, you know, again, help support the channel and get some of my uh, settings for my resins, settings for my FDM printers, uh, for things that I have printed. That's done, so let's go ahead and take that out. Don't want to leave it in there for too long because it'll just start to melt it away and you'll lose detail. Trust me, I left something in there overnight on accident and it was just a blob of nothingness. Where was I? Oh, yes, supporting the channel. Uh, affiliate links down below. Anything that is an affiliate link will probably be marked as an affiliate link. And um, working on a ton of content for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, uh, another way to support the channel will be through my Etsy shop. Uh, anything that I make through that usually ends up buying gear for me down here. Uh, that's how I got some of the lights and, and a new lens on my camera. Um, and that's how I will fund all, all future things 3D printing. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, if you want an upgrade kit for your Saturn 4 Ultras. And Saturn 4s, I'm assuming they're also going to do something for the Saturn 4s. I don't know if this is just going to be an Ultra thing. Um, or if you're thinking of just buying out the buying the new machine yourself once it, once it gets released. It's supposed to be uh, the 22nd. I'll also have some information here from the page of like, you know, it's going to be essentially exactly the same. It's just a couple of things that need to, that are being upgraded, like the heated vat. It's getting one. Uh, it's getting a new AI camera with a new light. It's getting um, the new build plate with the little handle so it's easier to grab and easier to mount back onto the system. And there might be a couple of other things that I'm missing, but I will have something, hopefully, that you guys can see me scrolling through. But anyways, yeah, guys, if you want to support the channel, again, the affiliate links are going to be down below. Uh, liking, subscribing to the channel also do help a ton, as well as, you know, I have an Etsy shop, which will be linked down below. That All that stuff, uh, YouTube, affiliate links, Etsy, all kind of goes into funding things. Uh, down here for us to open together, for us to play together, for us to test together, uh, and for us to print a lot of cool stuff uh, once it's here. And I can show you guys what that looks like and hopefully help some of you uh, make that leap into the 3D printing community and start your own adventure, whether it's with a resin printer, an FDM printer, or if you're just into 3D modeling, uh, which is something that I might start doing here on the channel. I, I started playing around with Nomad, Nomad Sculpt, uh, and I'm making this outro super, super long. And I apologize for that. But I have a lot of things planned to come out to the channel. I'm super excited for this year. Super excited for all of you, all 700 and something of you guys. I Thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. It does mean a lot that you guys like and watch my videos and subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. Do hit that like button. Do hit that bell notification. There's a bunch of amazing things coming to the channel here in 2025. Anyways, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, do know that I... I love all of you guys, and I hope all of you guys are doing well. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. And when I feel like this, I'm a